Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate today are a couple methods on how you can maintain and clean your ball bearing nunchaku. Uh, when I refer to ball bearing nunchaku, it, they were also referred to as swivel nunchucks or chain nunchaku. <clears throat> the majority of them have that head on them, and underneath this is a ball bearing. Okay, so here's some basic items you're going to need when cleaning your nunchaku. You need some pliers. Needle nose work real good for pulling the pens out. Scissors always come in handy. A bowl, some alcohol, and a nail punch. Also, you might need some Q-tips just in case. And this stuff here comes in real handy when you're going to re-lubricate your nunchaku. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the heads from your nunchaku. I like to put electrical tape there just to make it a little more sturdy and to make the life of the nunchaku last longer. Remember, these can be bought from companies like KarateDepot.com or AWMA for about $3.95 a set. Best way to do it <clears throat> is to use some needle nose pliers. Some of them will come out easy, some of them are a bit more difficult. Here's. Give it a nice tug. Do the same on each side. It's easier just to get some pliers. Give it a nice yank. Okay, now that your nunchaku are separated, what you want to do is go ahead and put the handle somewhere you won't lose them. Make sure to hold on to those pens because that's the only way you can get them back in. Go ahead and take a bowl, fill it with some regular rubbing alcohol. take these, pop those bearings through like so, do it on both sides, and I like to just, you can go ahead and let them all hang in there, go ahead and make sure the main part's submerged, and you want to leave that for a little bit. Now you want to remember, if you're, you know, say you've been using some ball bearings for quite some time and they haven't broke yet, um, what you might need to do is pop this shield off and clean the actual balls but these ones didn't look too bad and typically as long as you're not throwing them around outside or dropping them in the dirt a lot most of the time they stay somewhat clean you know it's just a matter of getting the the oils and the grease off there so after they've been soaking you want to look through and make sure there's no excess dirt if there is get a q-tip and just clean it right off. These have been sitting for about an hour, so it's quite a bit easier. Okay, now after you feel like you've got them 100% clean. You want to go ahead and dry them off. You can use a napkin or really anything, it doesn't matter. Okay, now when you're cleaning the nunchucks, the heads and the ball bearings and whatnot, you want to go ahead and take a clean Q-tip and get the insides underneath on this lip here. There's always going to be excess lubrication, oil, whatnot. You want to make sure to get the bottoms the tops and this little lip here Oops. okay next what you're going to want to do is re-lubricate the ball bearing part I like to use bone swiss speed cream. This stuff was originally developed for skateboard bearings but it works well on nunchucks as it's the same type of material and you can find this stuff at any local skateboarding shop or over the internet. What you want to do is go in in the crack place one drop in there
give it a nice spin rub any excess off with the q-tip so that it doesn't absorb a bunch of dirt do the same thing to the other side Pull those both back through, and now we're ready to reattach them to the nunchaku. So, what you want to do is go ahead and line these up with the hole. Grab a pen. push the pen back in. Now, you want to make sure it goes all the way to the other side so that the nunchuck's sturdy. And do the same with this side. Grab your pen, get it started. Push that pen in there. Sometimes it's uh, not as easy as you might think. <laughs> And then, like I say, go through all the way. If you have a nail punch, you might want to utilize it. Let's go ahead and get your electrical tape. Get it started. Exactly where you want it. I like to just barely cover that hole. And give it one nice wrap sure to keep the top even and then just go down make sure to cover that crack there and that should be good for that side So now that we got the nunchucks all cleaned and re-lubricated and ready to go, it's almost like having a brand new pair of nunchucks. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and give them a test run, see how they're doing. They feel good on passes, see about some rolls. Feel good on a roll, thumb roll, 